evening. Welcome to the stream. Good old uh, the long dark. Uh, we're going to continue our survival mode run today with a bit of a spring in the step. Uh, we reached Twitch affiliate today. Yeah, really cool. You know, waiting for some emotes to be approved, but very nice. Very nice. So let's jump into the survival run. Let's see what's happening. I'm not sure uh, exactly what's going on. So let's have a look. So firstly, our inventory uh, looks decent. Uh, okay, so we have some coal. We still have some sticks. Got a lot of teas. Got to really uh, maybe make these a bit lighter. Drop one or two of these. Okay, we'll do that in a moment. Clothing is looking decent. Food situation is a bit barren at the moment, but we got a lot of uh, a lot of moose meat outside. Uh, we should also maybe lighten this load. Uh, okay, what's going on in here? Mm, this might be a bit intense. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be carrying that around, so I should drop that. Uh, let's wait until I can see. Okay, where are we? We're in the trailer. Alright, perfect. Uh, let's get back into the dam. So I can go drop all my stuff and just lighten the load a little bit. And we'll make sure to get out our microphone for if we need to have an interview. Okay, good. Uh, we're still safe. Let's go sort out this broken rib inventory. It's looking kind of wild. <laughs> hey, sweet reverie, the welcome in. <laughs> Good to have you here. Thank you so much for uh, the very first sub. Uh, I am still setting up the emotes, so uh, we'll get there. Uh, you should maybe have one already seeing that you subbed. Uh, I'm waiting for some approvals, of course. Right? Do I, if I don't warm up. Yeah, I'm very happy. Uh-oh. Are we going into a loop here, bot? Yeah, it's very exciting. I'm very happy. Um, it's been a few weeks. But fun weeks, so I'm happy about it. Very happy about it. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> that ain't happening. All right, I'm killing the bot right now. Let's uh, let's bring him down. <laughs> and uh, but we're gonna try again. I just need to put put a stop to this bugger. He's uh, gone out of control. So what I think I'll do is we'll just clear the database. I mean, it's not like there's much in there anyway. And we'll try again. All right. <laughs> you are the favorite by so far. Like... <laughs> by miles. <laughs> this bot sees you and he just gets this uh, grin on his face. Alright, perfect. Let's get rid of all of this lantern fuel. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm carrying much more. Yeah, yeah, you're not carrying more. Okay, 
Good. But how's it going, sweet? Doing good? Having uh, an awesome Tuesday? Let's put seven of these in there. I think that's enough. Man, these broken ribs suck. Yeah, they're really ruining the mood. We still got quite a bit of time left to wait. Okay, so there's the first one. Not a good start, but doing better. Work was just a nightmare again. How so? What's happening? Who's bothering you at work? Why, how are they being ugly? And why are they being ugly? So I think once this silly little storm has worn off, uh, we will venture out and we will go get our coats. Or we go to bear hides. Lots of work, not enough people, and today I caught someone from another department taking, talking crap about my department to an outside party. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. People, people, relax. Hey, so unnecessary. So unnecessary. Well, I hope you uh, at least try and do your best to steer clear of office drama because I know that can always be a pain. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we can make some of this. What can we make? Uh, the hat? Yes. One two, three, and one. Okay, we're gonna make a hat! Yay! Because look at our shitty hats. Well, that's gonna be great. Alright, we're just gonna smash right through it. Let's see how much of this hat we can make in one go. Oh, I just drove over my toe with my chair. Oh, that was wild. <laughs> now let's just finish it, Astrid. You can be a bit thirsty. It's okay. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. But now, look at us now. Now we're styling. Uh, so these are the same. I guess it looks better if we wear this one, right? It's more... Uh, it looks more real. So, I mean, wearing two hats is never as good as wearing a hat and a scarf. Okay, so the storm has stopped. We still have time to walk back. We have plenty of energy. Uh, let me just think here for a moment. So we need to go across all the way. And how much cloth do we have? We need to bring this along. Maybe we can harvest it quickly. Hey, Packer Backer, how is it going today? Hope you're doing well. I definitely am having quite a good day. And uh, back to the fun, playing some long dark. Right, so let's quickly look at this. I've made the boots. I don't think the deer skin pants are that much better than the combat pants. That's good to hear, man. 
Uh, so next is the bearskin coat, which we have waiting at Trapper's cabin, and these gloves, which I don't know if we have enough. We'll find out soon. Uh, so I'm not going to take too much of this stuff, maybe just two of these, although I suspect we have many. And one of these, although again, I think we might have another. Uh, further than that, uh, how much do these things weigh? 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, so it should be under 40 still. And then we're going to eat a little bit, and then we will get going. Yeah, I think that's okay. It is what it is with these broken ribs. We're going to be a little bit slower, but such is life. Oh, we need to take this crap, right? Doesn't help we leave it. Does it? We can come back for it. It's okay. It's okay. Let's just uh, write it down. Uh, crafting stuff. Oh, I can't see that these are headings. Cool, so we have bedrolls, we have clothing, and we have crafting stuff. Uh, we are off to Trappers again, uh, back that direction to go grab our two bear hides. Uh, moose hide in Carter Hydro Dam. Uh, we're off to go grab our bear hides, create ourselves a coat, and that's all the way at Trappers, so let's get rolling. I'm gonna eat a bit, maybe grab one or two of these, we'll bring them along for the ride. Which means we're gonna fight off a wolf or two. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. But so it is. We have good enough health, so we could even uh, just pop it in the face if we feel brave enough. Play more uh, a Tomasina type of style, right? Or it feels more like she's playing Call of Duty than The Long Dark. <laughs> it's one of my favorite streamers to watch just for that. I was reading on Reddit again the other day, someone complaining that you don't have gloves on even though you have gloves on. Like they can't see the gloves and it's uh, immersion barrier breaking. It makes the game unplayable for them. <laughs> unplayable. Okay, so we're just going to stay vigilant. We do stink. Uh, one line of stink. Hope my new emotes get approved soon. I don't really know what the process is. Not sure if it's a human that checks them or if it's just. Uh, some automated process where they image match it. It's probably automated. And I think we're gonna follow the tracks today. We came around the back. Mm. Also haven't been up there yet, but I doubt that now is a good time uh, with the limited carrying capacity and such. Thus, I think we will just we will just move on.
I was also in um, Waffle Mouse's stream now. See if she's also playing Dark Walker. I still haven't tried that. I think uh, at some point I, I will give it a go. Looks pretty interesting. Looks pretty fun. Okay, so there is a wolf. Uh, so it should be turning our direction quite soon. Right, and I think it's just the one. Right, good. Just going to keep a flat surface. Oh, that's it. All right, good stuff. Cheers, buddy. Uh, what is the temp now? Minus six. Maybe we have a moment. We're just going to grab it. It's not too cold. And maybe we'll make a wolf coat to just show them who they were, who they're dealing with. here now. I was uh, worried for a moment. Maybe we'd run into them. So I feel like this path is usually uh, has usually got a few more on it. <laughs> more wolves on it. Uh, seems today we're mostly in the clear. Maybe one or two are hanging out just on the other side. That's also highly possible. I thought that was a wolf for a moment. It's just a wolf-shaped rock. High wolf-shaped rock. Almost shot at you. Yeah, I hope you're all doing great. Uh, sweet, thanks again for the uh, sub. Uh, I'm working on some some emotes and some badges, uh, which means, yeah, you get a bit of a founder badge. That's really cool. I think it's a founder badge. Very exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, thanks to everyone, everyone watching, everyone uh, chatting every day in all the streams, right? Being everywhere. So. Yeah, thanks goes out to all of you. Who were you with <laughs> this morning when uh, Maria raided, I don't know, some some newish player? <laughs> it was absolutely incredible. We uh, we hanging out in Maria's stream and Deadbug suggests that we raid a player who's new to the game. Uh, he's hanging out at Trapper's Cabin at that point. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as we land in his stream he goes from, I don't know, one viewer to 30 or something like that. But then he never noticed that we entered chat 
so we just took over his chat for I don't know quite a long time <laughs> he never noticed we just continued along our own uh, our own merry path chatting away having some fun I think after two hours we dispersed slowly All right, so I don't think we're going to make it all the way, so we're just going to uh, try and get this dude. Perfect. Look at that. Hey, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope it's going well. Alright, so it is way too windy, but what I think we can do is grab ourselves with the knife two pieces of steak. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to take a risk with uh, stinking a little bit while harvesting. This is very dangerous what we're doing. Uh, but the health is still good enough, so I'm willing to risk it. And we'll do four half a kilogram steaks. Then we'll go cook it indoors, get rid of this hyperthermia risk. Yeah, it sucks a bit with the wind. Cool, but welcome in. Uh, we're on our way to Trapper's Cabin to go craft our bear hide coat. Uh, f yeah, after that we'll probably turn around, go back to the dam, go craft our moose hide satchel. And then it's time to really explore the world. I was thinking if we make it that far we can do cartographer again, even though I've done it. But I did it on stalker last time. So, uh, my name is Atreyu. 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 Yeah, no stress, uh, but again, whatever works for you, right? I'm not... Uh, I don't get too upset about things like that. Hope it's going well. I hope your Tuesday was incredible. Was it? Did you get up to anything cool? Oh, we can lie it here. Look at that. Nice and snug in between. Oh, you did make pizza. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's grab one of these. Actually, two of these. We're going to do... Uh, a lot of crafting. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Stuffed crust pizza. That is great. That sounds amazing. And all homemade, homemade dough, homemade, I don't know, I guess not cheese, but <laughs> I mean, did you make homemade cheese too? I guess not. Of course. Uh, me and the wife went a while back to make cheese uh, here in a little town uh, not too far away, Faulendam. Uh, it was quite an experience. Uh, like it's pretty gross to make it, really. Like the curd and the, I don't know, unprocessed cheese is, is, is not the greatest. Uh, did not have the red pepper. Oh, sad face. Um, and my cheese that I made tasted absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like I think the uh, yeah the whatever I chose as ingredients inside my cheese, like spices and herbs. <laughs> They were definitely the incorrect combination because 
Wowzers. Okay, we did drop all our stinky stuff. No, we did not. I thought so. So wait, we have... Oh, right, we have all this moose meat. That's what good. That's what's going on. Any cheese is good except blue cheese? Yeah, I promise you the one I made <laughs> wasn't so good. Uh, let's quickly drop off these uh, cooked meats in the snow. Good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, personally not a not a fan uh, of clowns. Like whatever, if you want to do that, that's your prerogative. I don't think it's something I would be doing. Oh, we really need to make some water. Let's not get too thirsty. That's great that you uh, made the pizza. Um, yeah, it's good you were talking about it yesterday. Uh, and the day before, actually. So yeah, I'm glad you got around to it. Hope it was incredible. Right. Let's cook these two. And then after these two, we'll make four liters of water. And then we'll go to bed. I think so. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing the story mode myself again. It's good. I think uh, lots of people like it. Uh, if you read Reddit, you, you would get the idea that people feel otherwise, that they might not like it, uh, but I think usually uh, the ones who scream the loudest are also the ones who are heard the most, so that doesn't necessarily mean everyone actually hates story mode. Right, uh, I think that's a bit of a, a fallacy. Yeah, I think uh, if if you can play the game on stalker mode, which you can, of course, uh, then any difficulty of story mode is pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, so let's throw on some water. Okay, I've got lots of people like, I don't know, it feels like when I read Reddit that many people are very against story mode. And then many people are like, oh, if you've never played the game, play story mode. So there are those two camps, I guess. Uh, okay, so we've got the two stakes on us. Let's quickly go drop them outside. Uh, yeah, if it has it, right? Why the hell not? Totally agreed. I was gonna stay out of the wind. I must say though, the story mode is very limiting in many aspects, and many times the story mode is very different from uh, multiplayer mode or survival mode. Like, I played a lot of StarCraft 2, and that's the same thing. The story mode contains units that's, that are not in the game, and it contains all kinds of things that you just don't get. Uh, can we repair this so long? Do we have the things? Two cloths, 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, exactly. The story mode is like that. 
No, Astrid, you... Okay, we have 40 minutes. Astrid, don't be like that. What a naughty, naughty girl. Okay, great. That's better. She is like... Okay, and now we got some water, and we're ready to sleep. Uh, remember our cooking pots, and take a last torch. Uh, let's quickly just... We can't ever put this back, eh? Yeah, that's unfortunate. What? Sorry, I missed that message. Let's see here on the phone. Imagine playing I MC creative mode for the first time. Without ever trying the survival and completing the game, what is MC? Oh, you mean Minecraft? I've never played Minecraft. I have no idea what it is or how it works. It was just uh, maybe after my time, I guess. Uh, okay, looking good, looking good. Uh, let's pass one hour of time so we can see what's going on. Uh, okay, we got some daylight. Oh, it's gonna be extremely cold at this time of day. Let's give it one more hour of sleep. Good. So yeah, unfortunately I can't relate to the Minecraft reference. I have no clue. But I'll believe you. I, I, I can understand. <clears throat> Okay, let's grab one or two cloth for the road uh, as we've now used most of it by failing to fix our bedroll. And I just want to update my note. Uh, so we are on day 28, and my note says Man, I could use a drink. Uh, 28. Um, Let's just say 70% on day 23, 28. Uh, so it lasts 500 days, I think, the bedroll. It might be shorter on interloper, actually. That was usually the stalker number crunching. So it could be a bit shorter. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so you have no idea why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, okay, let's grab some food. And then we go... Oh, beautiful day. Oops, should have eaten, not just picked it up. <laughs> Probably too windy to make a fire there by this deer. I'm gonna try and see what the game says, but I am kind of doubting that we will be able to. Okay, and how are we doing here? 58 left. Okay. So we shaved off another 11 already. That's good. That's real good. <laughs> uh, 
hard to fall too. If you only play multiplayer, you're like, okay, I fight other players and I have each robots. But if you play the story before, you understand way more. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you get why you're doing what you're doing. Some games, yeah, I get it. I care about story mode, but... Okay, so it's... Hey, Waffle, hey, Raiders. Uh, wow, welcome in. Uh, gee whiz. Many of you hopping into chat. Oh, two feet at a time. Thank you so much for following. Great to see you. Welcome, Waffle. Uh, how was the rest? Did you finish? Did you smash the Dark Walker in the face? I, I know that's not what you do. <laughs> hey Ruek, Gorth, uh, how's it going? Doing well? <laughs> yeah, uh, chat chat will be moving a little bit faster. You finished! And you saw him in... <laughs> oh great, you were in inverted mode while you were doing that. That's that's cool. <laughs> uh, everybody, Ish, Grego, welcome in. Uh, great to have you all here. Hope you're having a beautiful Tuesday. Thank you so much for the follow. I think Dark Worker was feeling disoriented by the pink. <laughs> oh man, I, I honestly am a. Uh, quite surprised by how you pull it off. I didn't need to do that. There is plenty of sunlight here. Anyway, it's part of the fun sometimes. Uh, it's very disorienting, so I, I applaud you for, <laughs> for playing in inverted mode. It is it is truly a, a, a test, uh, an, a testament to your uh, strength and perseverance. Okay, so now is this wind too brutal for us to keep this fire going? Let's just uh, keep an eye on it for a few seconds. Uh, it seems okay. Right, for everyone uh, who just hopped in, we're playing uh, an interloper game, nothing fancy. Just a vanilla interloper run. We have... Uh, yeah, yeah, all good, Waffle, all good. Enjoy the lurk. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, right. We have a moose hide curing in the dam. Uh, that is a few days old. That bad boy also caused uh, these broken ribs, unfortunately. Uh, we have two bear hides uh, chilling in uh, Trapper's Cabin. That's where we're heading now. Uh, we're going to go make ourselves a coat, because as you can see, our coat situation is quite bare at the moment. But the rest is doing great. We have double combat pants, we have double underwear, we have shitty socks, but whatever. We have a beautiful hat, we have beautiful shoes. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, okay, this wind is chill enough, so we can actually pump the heat. And now we are just uh, making some food. Yeah, uh, it usually happens, especially with the first moose for me. Uh, I, I can never put three arrows in them fast enough. Uh, Sai told me a little trick that I will try next time. And that is just to wait until he's a bit closer. Uh, so let's use the hacksaw. I uh, will grab two of these pieces. Yeah, um, but yeah, welcome in. Today we'll be we're going going a bit slower as we are quite slow with the broken ribs. But that's mostly uh, what I do here. I take things quite calm, take things quite slow. The long-term goal here, of course, is to beat at least the 107, right? Maybe we can also make 500 on interloper, but I won't get too excited for that yet. Let's first get past the, the previous personal best. 
All right, so we got 11 minutes on that. Let's grab one more. <coughs> All right, so we got another four minutes. We'll grab one more. Mm, so we're just going to be cooking up this deer quickly. I want to leave myself some food here. Uh, I like leaving food at every base. I'll say base, but just every place where I can have a bed. Alright, thank you so much for uh, stopping by. I uh, hope you have a beautiful evening. Good luck and uh, sleep great. See you soon. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. We're just uh, quickly gathering some food, upping the cooking skill. Right, I'd like to get that to five ASAP uh, into what I would call cheat mode. Because honestly, uh, <laughs> cooking five is a little bit broken. It's uh, yeah, it's really intense. It's way too strong. I feel it's it's too strong. Like I, I like having it, but yeah, it even pro level chefs can't eat out the trash can. All right, so let's uh, let's continue cooking up the steer. And then we'll move on. I'm also, uh, when the next month starts, I want to try out the Neo Native Challenge by Guntech. I've been practicing a bit. I uh, hope some of you will join me in it. it looks like it's going to be lots of fun. Essentially, it's uh, surviving on crafted items only. So, as the game starts, drop all your junk on the floor and uh, j just survive on stuff you craft. Uh, in my practice runs, it's been going okay. Uh, yeah, I started by just surviving one or two days, uh, now I've managed about seven. Uh, the real issue is getting scrap metal without a hacksaw, because you can't use any of the old world items, uh, with the exception of the hammer, because you need the hammer to uh, forge, of course. Uh, but that's going pretty well. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun and really difficult. Like way out of the comfort zone for what we usually do. Okay, we're almost through. Grego, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, thanks for the luck wishing. Oh, there goes our fire. Uh, yeah, I also hope it's going to continue going as well as it's going. Uh, thank you so much. Sleep tight. Have beautiful dreams. Uh, catch you on the other side. Okay, so we'll just wait for these two to cook, and then we'll move. And we'll leave the raw one here. Uh, okay, let's go. Shall we bring some meat? Hmm. What do we have? Let's just eat ourselves full. I think we'll be okay. We can always grab something on the other side.
Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is such a tricky choice, right? Do we take meat with and stink? Do we just hunt on that side? Let's go to that side. We'll we'll figure it out when we're there. For sure unnamed pond will have something for us, or maybe there'll be a rabbit behind trappers. But you gotta move, Astrid. You gotta move. Hey, Sai, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, the bot has been tweaked a little bit. Uh, he now uh, <laughs> won't just call you out for chilling in the stream, doing nothing. Uh, so he'll leave you to lurk if you want to lurk. Uh, sorry for everyone who was affected by that earlier. Uh, yeah, he responds to the first chat message. I want to do a bit of a timeout so he doesn't just immediately respond as your message lands, but uh, yeah, setting a bunch of timeouts is uh, yeah, some some different issues there. Uh, good to see you too. Uh, I really enjoyed the Dark Souls gameplay yesterday. I actually it was the first time for me seeing the game. Yeah, it looks real fun and uh, real punishing <laughs> yeah, ex except for sweet shame she got like four shout outs as today's stream started but you know when you build these things yourself you uh, you inevitably run into some issues <laughs> Yeah, it was cool. The game is the game was nice. Uh, I liked seeing it. Oh, I heard the wolf. Is he gonna hunt a rabbit for us? Yes, he is. What a legend! Oh, don't run right into me, dude. Chill your briefs, Steve. All right, good. Oh, come on! That was like right in the face, and that dude just took it. What a legend wolf, wow. Strong as an ox. Jeez. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go recover our arrow in a moment. Okay, so he's running there. Towards unnamed pond, maybe he'll go die close to there somewhere. It's going really good. We've got our ribs down to 58 hours now. Uh, the moose hide is on 5 out of 10 days. It's chilling in the dam. I didn't bring it along. So the plan is we're going to come here to trappers, craft the bear coat, because uh, those two should be done by now. Uh, once that is done, our ribs should be close to healed. Uh, we'll head back to the dam, we'll craft the satchel, and then we're free. Then we are absolutely free to do whatever comes next. <clears throat> uh, my thinking was to, if we make it that far, let me not get too cocky, right? Uh, these things end in a split second, but if we do make it that far I would like to do cartographer again uh, so I've done it before on stalker mode and this time I want to do it on interloper and with blackrock added. When I did it blackrock wasn't wasn't a thing yet That's the plan. We, we got some good ideas. Now it's just about staying calm and executing.
this route that I took around now, I don't think it's the fastest route, but when I just started watching the game, I watched a lot of Splattercat Gaming's videos, and this was always his route from uh, from the camp office to Trapper's Cabin. Uh, so there's some a route I kind of took over, or I stole, or I use. I guess stealing a route is a bit. <laughs> that's not how it works. Uh, and for those of you wondering about 22 Bart, who might not have seen him yet, uh, it's uh, something I'm coding in the background. I mean, not right now, but yeah, in the evenings before I stream, I'll spend an hour, maybe add a feature or fix something. So he might be buggy every now and then. Don't, don't fret. Uh, he also sits right next to me on the chair because I don't have space for him on my desk, so we sit side by side on the chairs, watching me stream. So if something goes wonky, it's okay. We can just turn them off and turn them on again. Okay, we're gonna grab one of these deers. Okay, walk straight at me, dude. That would be incredibly appreciated. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. So we're gonna crouch, crouch hop our way closer. Uh, this isn't close enough. I'd like to get real in their, in their face. Oops. <laughs> uh, you need to crouch down again if you want to make this work. For any of you wanting to make this work, you need to crouch down again. <laughs> uh, and then when the deer stops to eat. We'll stand up and we'll pop him hopefully in the head. Otherwise he runs off with your arrow. And it's the easiest if they walk straight at you. <laughs> that could have killed me. <laughs> My own arrow almost killed me there. That would have been wild. Uh, okay, we, we can still uh, spend a minute or two outside, but... Hey Nomad, nice to see you. Uh, welcome in. No, that's great. Uh, always glad to have new people here. Welcome in. <laughs> new to this stream, I'm assuming. Uh, I've seen you around some of the others. Beautiful. Alright. Look at us getting ourselves some food. Uh, how's your Tuesday going? I uh, hope you're having a beautiful day and or evening, wherever you are. Alright, good. So, let's cook up uh, the steer and the rabbit. Thanks. So yeah, that's my preferred way of hunting deer, is just crouch closer and closer. Gotta have some patience, I guess and then stand up and pop it in the head. Okay, good stuff. Hey, thanks for the follow, Nomad. Wow, that is great. What a day. What a beautiful day. Thanks for the raid again, uh, Mouse. Without that, all these wouldn't be possible. Okay, good. Let's... Uh, Let's cook up a bit. Should 
should actually be using the pots for this. Uh, let's do that now. Goes a bit faster. It's just annoying to like get the items in. I'd like to be able to drag items into the pot. That would be absolutely great. One day, one day with a new quality of life update, we'll be able to do that. Oh, great stuff, Nomad. Uh, and I can also add you to the list of uh, auto shoutouts, but for now, I mean, uh, it's good to spread the love if you guys are uh, hanging around here. Go check out our friend Nomad. Let's see what you've been playing as well. <laughs> Look at this bot shouting me out. Uh, Nomad, I see you also playing Long Dark. Nice. Cool. After the stream, I'll pop you a follow. Um, cool. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, let's... let's pop them all down. Some of them are warming, so that's fine. Just one or two. Uh, these can chill. They can be cold. Doesn't matter. Alright. So we'll pop that down there. And we'll make small water. While we continue. <coughs> Nice, very nice, Nomad. I'm uh, I'm glad this community is absolutely exceptional. Uh, I've said this before, but I'll definitely say it again. I'm part of a few other gaming communities, and no one is quite as good. <laughs> no stress, no stress. Uh, can understand you maybe don't want uh, all the spotlight right now, but. Please don't uh, don't feel like you're taking away. Uh, I'm sure we've all witnessed some harvesting and cooking before, so don't feel like you're bothering anyone. Uh, but yeah, welcome in. Man, I'm glad to hear that Waffle got the Dark Walker at the end of the day. I still haven't done it. Sounds like a fun challenge to do. Looks pretty tricky. I guess it's a it's a real map knowledge tester. All right, let's cook both of these, and then we can get to the double double harvest, double cook. A dork walker. It's like where this dorky dude walks around the map. <laughs> no, but for real, it looks it looks pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, I heard you played a few times, and uh, a few people have asked for your inset into that mode. Uh, when it came out, I was still really fresh to this game. Like, I was just transitioning out of Voyager into Stalker at that point, and I was a bit scared to take it on. Honestly, don't know why. Like, that's exactly what this game is about: is failing over and over again, and uh, being glad about it. <laughs> But now that I feel I've got uh, a bit more experience under the belt, I think I definitely want to give it a try.
of course I just do half a kilogram at a time to bump both harvesting and cooking skills a bit. Okay, I see. Uh, that's pretty cool. And um, you, you always speed run, I'm assuming, in game time, right? Uh, not real time. Because I've seen both, but I'm not sure which you prefer. Or, or which you think is better. For me, for me, theoretically, it makes more sense to use it. Uh, in in game time, but you say Dark Walker is in real time. It's the only challenge that is okay. I see, and that's why you can sleep, right? Uh, because it's not like he's coming that much closer when you spend a minute or two real time sleeping. Um, I have been playing since 2018. At that point I didn't play too much and for the last year or so I've been playing quite a lot. Uh, it was only like maybe a year ago that I tried Interloper for the first time. And then I died within within the first day. I didn't even make it the full first day. Yeah, exactly, right? Because you're, you're sleeping in real time and not and not in in-game time, or at least in in relation to how the Dark Walker moves. Yeah, I, I didn't know that in the start, so I was wondering how how you do that. I first thought maybe it was like a coffee slash energy drink spamming speedrun. Uh, and you know, Matt, how long have you been playing The Long Dark? Damn, that's really cool. That's, uh, that's quite a long time. What's that, 2013 or so? It's almost 10 years. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay. That's how long it's been, people. Alright, let's just cook one or two more teas. We have the time. Oh yeah, of course. There you go, Astrid. There you go. and those two T's should make it. Yeah, good. Nice, what a beautiful collection of meat we have. Okay, I see. Yeah, I, I get that. It also took me a while. I think because the game's quite difficult, you play it the first time and then you're like, yeah, I don't know. And then when you come back, the difficulty is what makes it so great. So I think if it were too simple, we'd all stop playing. Uh, we still have this dude. Uh, let's let's take him apart. It's not too much to take apart anyway, so it's worth our time to do so. Okay, good. We uh, cooked up this entire deer. 
Uh, we need 20 minutes and another 20. So what can we do here so long? It takes a bit long. Let's spend this 12 minutes. Then the meat should be done. And then we'll grab the other one. And we can always do the hide inside. Okay, so five minutes till melted plus another 20. We can actually just do this as well. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a few. <laughs> I've uh, popped in a few there. O although I've discovered recently that the random function I used might not be that random. The queries are cached, so sometimes it'll pick the same one out the list twice. But it's okay. Uh, the bot still needs to learn. Okay, dear, just chill around here. We might come for you tomorrow or so. But for now, you can have a, a good chill evening. Okay, let's go drop off all our hides and guts and meat and stuff and get ready to craft ourselves a, a coat. <laughs> okay, good. It's uh, It's been good so far. I think uh, taking it nice and slow like we're doing is working out for the best. All good. Uh, take your time, of course. Okay, so first all our meat. So this weekend was the uh, Belgian Grand Prix and it was quite, like it was a good Grand Prix but quite sad my parents would have been here uh, and then they had some issues with some ill family members and such things so they never made it ac across. So hopefully they can make it out soon, it'll be nice to see them again. Okay, let's go drop all the hides and crap inside. And, uh... Oh, I was like, where the hell are these things? Uh, but they're in the unnamed pond house. <laughs> oh, I, I had a moment there where I was like, shit. Where are these things? What are you grilling? What are you grilling? That sounds amazing. I'm really glad they fixed the hitboxes on these things. Uh, before, the hitboxes didn't turn with the items. Burgers and hot dogs, nothing spectacular tonight. And um, what do you grill on? Do you use gas? Do you use coals? Do you use uh, wood? What is your preferred grill method? Okay, we'll sleep here and then we can head over in the morning.
Oh man, that sounds amazing. Uh, as a South African, I love, of course, uh, meat on, on the grill. And we always do either charcoal or wood. My dad recently got a gas burner, but it is the first one we've had ever. And uh, yeah, I'm always still a fan of the, what I would call the original. Oops. The, uh, the classic charcoal or fire is where it's at. It's not. Uh, totally agreed. Yeah, it's the OG, right? guess it's ingrained in us. Man make fire. Man cook food. Okay, let's go and quickly grab those bear hides. Uh, wait, is there some junk we can leave here? Because we're coming back. Uh, we're just heading out to go grab the hides. So I don't want to sit here with a bunch of stuff that I don't really need. Let's see what we can do. So the arrowhead can stay. The feathers can stay. The metal can stay. Uh, in here. Those can go away. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, that's awesome, man. I uh, hope they're incredible. It's always, uh, it's always good to have something that you put some effort into, like meat. Uh, we also make a thing here called, or we call it, biltong. Uh, it's like a South African delicacy, I guess. It's like cured meat. Uh, don't know, you have like, like, in other countries you get jerky, but it's not quite the same. It's like similar, but it's not quite that. Uh, but yeah, we make that at least once, uh, once every few months here at home, and then my whole house smells like meat for a week or two. <laughs> Yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. Um, I'll type it in chat. It is called Biltong. And then the other one is Druavor, which is like dried sausage, essentially. Uh, those two are staples of South African cured meat. Really good. Okay, and we can leave a few torches on our way out. Uh, what else can we drop? Uh, I'd like to just keep some. Okay, we'll just drop a torch or two outside. Great day outside in it. Uh, so I'll just keep like from there. Yeah, it it truly is. It's it's incredible. And yeah, we brought ourselves a little uh, boltong maker from South Africa. Like just a little glass box essentially, uh, with some lights in it. I guess you could either dry meat or weed in it. <laughs> it. It will have the, the same effect. Alright, so I hear the wolf across this hill. Uh, just got to check where he is before we just run down the hill to not run face first into the guy. Where are you, bastardo? <laughs> oh, 
I love that guy, that, that, that dude we raided today, uh, earlier this morning, <laughs> attacking the wolf with a hatchet, screaming at the wolf, I'll make you my bitch. <laughs> he, he really had a, a flair for the extreme. Yeah, and it's really simple, like it's, it's really simple. It's a good cut of meat, maybe a sirloin, maybe, I don't know, some silver side. Uh, and then coat it thoroughly in salt and spice mixture, uh, dipped in some, maybe some vinegar mixture for a few days, just so it cures properly. And then it's just left to dry. Many people also leave it just in their garage. Uh, but we don't own a car here, so I don't have a garage. Uh, so you don't need <coughs> the fancy smoker box as long as it's warm enough. <laughs> yeah, that guy. He he was <laughs> he was intense. He he was really intense. <laughs> like like he ran at all the wolves and then like instead of attacking them with the weapons he would just let them attack him and then scream at them it was it was really good it was good i enjoyed it a lot i mean he hasn't i think he hasn't met a bedroll wolf yet <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. If it's if it's not warm enough, then uh, it doesn't really dry out properly. Oh, is that our wolf that they're cawing about? I think it might be. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay. Good stuff. The one with the arrow in its face. And now we can see how accurate we actually were. Oh, that's why it was in the neck. Okay. That's why it didn't drop. Uh, we'll come get the hide in a moment. I like usually making at least one wolf coat just to show them what I think. Okay, I hope our bear hides are cured by now. They should be, but you never know. Well, it's still early morning. We're doing good. We're doing real good. Oh, 70%. Uh, how long do they cure? 12 days. I thought it was 10. Okay, well. Okay, I think we'll take them to Trappers. It's weird hanging around here, but I'm just going to spend a moment uh, heating up quick. And then we can also grab the wolf hide on the way out. Okay, good. Yeah, look at all this good stuff we left behind here. Man, nice. Oh, and the hides don't stink, right? It's so strange. I'm, I'm sure if you're carrying the skin of an animal, you would stink. I cannot imagine that you can cut it off that cleanly. Okay, good. It's only two chevrons down as well, so not too bad. It is minus 15. I guess that's quite cold. <laughs> oh, I can't see them. There they are. Okay. Alright, we're definitely feeling it, but that's okay. 
Yeah, it's fine. We just got into the cold, so it's not really an issue. We'll make it back quite comfortably. <clears throat> we'll just move a bit faster. Also, because we took that power nap, so... Oh, right, that also shaved an hour off this. Nice, we're under 50 now. I don't know if any of you have had broken ribs before, but it definitely takes a very long time to heal. Okay, so just remember that the wolf is in between here and Trapper's homestead, not cabin. So I guess we'll just skirt around the right hand side again. Yeah, when I was uh, still in one year of college, I got really wasted the one night and there was a strike in South Africa where the municipal workers, whose job it was to come drive their truck around every neighborhood, or at least the neighborhoods I lived in, uh, to come fetch the garbage bins, they were on strike. So there were all these garbage bins outside and I got really silly and I decided to fly and kick one of these dustbins at night. Uh, but I didn't realize at the time because I was half drunk blind is that there was a wall behind the dustbin that I was flying kicking. And as I hit it mid-air I just crumpled in half and then uh, broke my ribs on the dustbin. <laughs> Quite an experience. I, I didn't at that time tell everyone that that's how I broke my ribs. <laughs> I can't remember, I just made up some crap, but... <laughs> yeah, fun times looking back at it now. Glad I don't drink anymore. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Yeah, man. Cars are are incredibly dangerous, eh? It's like a, putting a 80 to 100 kilogram human inside a one ton powered vehicle with a, yeah, anywhere from 80 to 400 kilowatts of power. It's way too much power for a human, actually, but uh, <laughs> here, here we are. Oh, nice. Good job, Astrid. You didn't even break your ankle. Great job. Uh, was all at least fine with the car accident, because those can get quite nasty, so hope you, you and everyone around was okay. And no one got too seriously injured. Oh nice, we have a bunny there now. Didn't see him this morning when we were heading out. Uh, we still have a moment, let's go throw rocks at him. Here, Bun Bun. Okay, so with the rabbit, kind of the same thing as with the deer. Uh, I just want to crouch walk closer. And the best is, of course, if he uh, comes right at you. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you still do life. Do life! <laughs> that's great. Sounds like a Snoop Dogg saying, Do life, son. Do life. Okay, 
Let's go drop these hides again immediately. Let's also make some space here. Okay, and we have quite a few extras now. Quite a lot, nice. Okay, I think our guts quota has been reached. <clears throat> Not sure that we're gonna need more than this. There's a gap there, game. Come on. Nice. Very nice. And this also gives us the opportunity to make a few more arrows because I have a lot of arrowheads. Conky, my man. Uh, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope life is going well. <laughs> uh, what's news? I think while we wait for the bear hides, we can grab ourselves, maybe make ourselves some gloves. Okay, because if it's 70% out of 12 days, we need like three and a half more days. Damn, that's freaking slow, isn't it? Ah, I guess that's part of the fun. So what's new, Conky? What's, uh, what's going on in your life? How was your Tuesday? Um, let's see. So these take four and two. So it's one. Do we even have enough? One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and two guts. And we'll make the mitts. I uh, guess we'll just do slam it. Five hours. Got off work early because of rain. Played some TLD. Got mauled by a bear and stomped by a moose twice. Oh, double broken ribs. That is doubly painful, man. I feel for you. We're uh, recovering ourselves, uh, at least just from one and not from two. And you're still doing bear hunt, or what's the what's the current vibe? Okay, long run, long run. Oh, wow, I couldn't speak there. A long loper run. Okay, that's good. Good old uh, bleak. Okay, nice. All the tea wolves are down. That's uh, that's an important part of having fun, uh, especially in bleak. <laughs> okay, good. And I'm assuming the plan is just as long as possible. Or are you achievement hunting or something else? Oh, nice. Okay, so the plan is 500. I think that'll be good. Uh, that'll be quite cool for me as well to hit here, but we still have uh, a long way to go. Okay, let's go grab this second deer. I don't think that's going to last us three days. Uh, his friend should also be at the back somewhere. Yeah, there is. So we'll do this one first and then... 
Oh, okay, nice. I found on my long run that from about a 300 I really lacked having anything to do. Uh, maybe you can do what uh, Polt did and just go and kill as many bears over and over again. Just come straight at me. Yes, there we go. Good deer. Yes, deer. Perfect. And we're just going to keep this distance until he stops. Okay, so we got him in the neck. That should be fine. He should drop pretty fast. And it's warm enough, so... We can walk after him. Not a big deal. He might even run into the wolf that's over the hill here. I had a 434 run crash and corrupt the file. What? Been wanting 500 for a while, but because if of that, uh, don't mind hibernating a lot to get there. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it happens. The same with my 500 run. If people don't want to watch that. Once I get to really long, I'll make it more interesting. Sure. Um, I get that. It it does become a bit stale. Okay, where did this bugger go? Let's just follow the trail. They always choose these really interesting paths, eh? Never just a... Maybe just run on flat surfaces, that would be that would be way boring. Okay, I hear the crows, I think that's where he fell. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, are you also cartographering or have you done that already? Okay, here he is. Good stuff. Oh, well, we can make a fire here. Please, game, don't be like that. Fuck. Oh, that is pain. Yeah, all good, Nomad. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It's great having new people in. And I hope to see you around. Have a beautiful day and or evening. Waiting for Perseverance Moles to do... Oh, okay, you want to do it all. I like it. I like that idea. Oh, look at that. We spent a full hour outdoors and we just lost like half heat. Okay, good. Let's go back. I had to quarter him because we can't make a fire. Oh, hello. Oh, this might be a bit much. <laughs> yeah, uh, we can barely walk with this much gear. Okay, I get you. Uh, I did it for the achievement uh, when when Ash Canyon came out, and then yeah, I'll probably do it again. Uh, let's see if my new command works. Spreen. <laughs> nice. Uh, unfortunately, I have to reset the database after some runs. <laughs> and again, uh, we can also try. Try. Oh wait, wait! I hear the wolf. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, we just broke our uh, wrists and we can't use the uh, the bow, so let's just get out of here for now. We can patch ourselves up. Ow. Oh, he forgot about us, okay. Whoa. That was close. Jeez, like I was also trying to type again 
for the second one. You gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> ankle, ankle, pain, pain. Okay, that's alright. I don't mind that so much. I just want to be able to equip the bow so we can take care of this wolf. <laughs> that was wild. Alright, so let's just lure him out of here. Are you coming, wolf? Yeah, there he is. Alright, good. Come. Come, dude. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Jeez. Then he just stands there like, oh no, nothing's wrong. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, cool, sweet. Uh, thanks for hanging around. It's always uh, super, super nice having you in. I uh, hope your stream goes incredibly. Uh, I might, uh, if if you hurry up, hop over to you as I need to get into bed soon. <clears throat> Man, our poor survivor is in a ruined state at the moment. Uh, <laughs> both broken ankles, carrying way too much junk, tired, Oh, shame. Poor Astrid. Okay, that was just me making noise and not another wolf. I was scared for a moment that uh, another one was going to come get us. Because we are mega stinky at the moment. So this isn't the most entertaining experience, as we're just crawling our way to the homestead, but yeah, it's okay. We just need to get there to survive. I might drop some of the meat here, where we can just path back and forward. Okay, so uh, early evening aurora, wow. It's not even night time yet and it's already an aurora. Oh, it's just really bright out, wow. Okay, oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> that triple sprain was really unnecessary. I don't really want to waste the cloth right now to prep it to, or, or like to fix it just to run this little bit. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna walk in this uh, messed up state, and it is what it is. Right. So after we drop the stuff off, uh, maybe next. That deer will also have to go because we need to make it long enough for the bear hides to actually cure. Yeah, all these colors are nice. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Stop quickly, Astrid. Let's get that in. That's nice. 
What, what a beautiful screenshot that is. Sure. What an evening. Goodness, this game. This game really makes you feel a certain way. I just got it in the beginning because I wanted a survival game that did not include zombies or aliens or some thing, I don't know, like that that doesn't exist. And then I found this and really fell in love with the the style. Okay, doing good, doing good. Yeah, it really is. Uh, that's why I I enjoy hearing about Blades playing uh, multiplayer mode or whatever, but not for me. This is a, a pure single player experience. And it's just me versus me. Oh, current me versus previous me. Okay, let's drop our junk here in the corner. Oh, we haven't taken that apart yet. Okay, well, we will soon. Okay, good, 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 good. So we've eaten. Uh, let's drink. And let's, I guess, sleep. It's maybe a bit early, right? Yeah, I don't know if we'll make it through the night, but let's try. Look at all that healing. That was a good, that was a really good nap. <laughs> oh, we need some water. Uh, I think what we're gonna do now is we'll just make ourselves another tiny tea or two. So, like that, and one more. So, we won't finish them all the way, we'll just leave them like that and then. Spend one hour just getting to daytime. Uh, let's check on our bear hides. Alright, so 80%. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, people. I think this is good. Uh, it's 20 past 1. Uh, we need to work in the morning. Uh, let's leave it here. Uh, so just a recap. We are only 40 hours away from being cured of this horrid broken rib experience. Uh, during this stream we crafted a hat, we crafted some gloves, uh, we made it all the way from the dam to here, hunted three deer along the way, killed a few wolves along the way, and uh, not bad, not, not bad at all. Uh, cool, I am gonna, I just wanna see how far we are. We made it from day 27 to, would you scroll please, jeez, to day 30. Uh, so we just made these four days, but that's good. Uh, I'm going to see who else is online while we, while we uh, raid out of here. Uh, I want to thank you all so long, uh, without all of you, this uh, game and community wouldn't be quite what it is. Oh, I was also the first uh, affiliate stream. <laughs> well, that was cool, right? Uh, waiting for the emotes to be approved. Uh, but that'll happen soon enough. Alright, let's uh, raid in Sweet. Uh, I think she's, uh, she's hella supportive all the time and I, I like supporting her back. Alright, everybody. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, the raid has been created. So we'll head out of here in 10 seconds. 
Uh, much appreciated. Have a beautiful day further. Ciao.